In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to cancel your Dropbox subscription. Whether you've found a different service that better meets your needs, or you're simply trimming your monthly expenses, cancelling a Dropbox subscription is a straightforward process. Let's walk through it together, step by step, to ensure you can navigate the procedure smoothly. First, start by opening your web browser of choice. This could be Chrome, Firefox, Safari, or any other you prefer. Next, head over to dropbox.com. This is the gateway to all things Dropbox, from accessing your files to managing your account details. Once the page loads, look for the login button. It's typically located in the top right corner of the web page. Clicking this will take you to the login page, where you're given various options to access your account. For those who have linked their Google account with Dropbox, clicking on Continue with Google is the fastest way to log in. It simplifies the process by eliminating the need to remember another password as it uses your Google account credentials to grant you access. This interconnectivity between services is designed for your convenience. Upon successfully logging in, your next destination is the Files section of Dropbox. This section is the heart of Dropbox, where all your stored files and folders live. You can navigate there directly by selecting it from the left-hand sidebar after login. This is where you essentially manage your digital assets stored on Dropbox. Now to get to the core of today's tutorial, managing your subscription. Look towards the top right of your Dropbox page and you'll find your profile picture or the initial letter of your name if you haven't set one up. Click on it to reveal a drop down menu. This menu is a portal to various account settings and preferences, including the one we're interested in today, the settings option. Selecting settings will take you to a comprehensive page detailing your account preferences, security settings and plan details among others. It's crucial here to remain focused on why we're here, which is to manage your subscription. Thus, look for the section labelled plan or sometimes current plan. Here Dropbox offers a snapshot of the subscription you're currently on, whether it's a free tier, plus, family or professional plan. In this section, if you're already on a paid plan and wish to cancel your subscription, you'll find the option to do so. The interface is designed to be intuitive, but it's always smart to proceed cautiously when making changes to your subscription to avoid any unintended alterations. Before you finalize the cancellation, it's important to consider a few things. Think about why you're cancelling. Is it cost related, lack of use, or a switch to a competitor? If it's due to cost or searching for different features, sometimes Dropbox might offer deals or alternatives that could match your needs better. Also, remember, upon cancellation, your account will likely be downgraded to the basic free version post your billing cycle, which comes with limited storage. Lastly, upon proceeding with the cancellation, Dropbox will likely ask for feedback or reasons for your decision. This step is optional, but provides valuable insights for Dropbox to enhance its services. Additionally, make sure to check for any confirmation emails or messages from Dropbox to ensure the cancellation process is complete. Cancelling a Dropbox subscription doesn't have to be a daunting task. With these steps, you can navigate the process smoothly and with confidence. Whether you're making changes to your digital toolset or managing monthly expenses, understanding how to manage your subscriptions empowers you to make decisions that best suit your needs and lifestyle. Remember, the digital world is flexible and your tools should complement your workflow efficiently. If Dropbox no longer fits the bill, there are countless other options available, each with its unique set of features. And who knows, maybe down the line you'll find your way back to Dropbox, equipped with new requirements and a fresh perspective. That wraps up our guide on how to cancel your Dropbox subscription. Simple, wasn't it? If this tutorial was helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tech tips and tricks. Managing your digital life doesn't have to be complicated, and I'm here to make sure of that. Stay tuned for more how-to videos, and thank you for watching.